My name is Adam Novak, and we'll now be talking about arithmetic in Python. Arithmetic in Python is done much like a standard calculator, in that it uses the plus, the minus, multiply, divide, and power operators. The plus is signified by a plus, minus by a minus, multiply by a star, divide by a forward slash, and power by two stars. If you want to do the square root, simply do 1, divide by the number you want to do the square root of. The floor operator is signified by two forward slashes and modulo by percentage. The floor gives you the amount of times one number divides into another, and the modulo gives you the remainder. So if we look here in the left, the modulo operator, in the case of 10 modulo 2, 2 goes into 10 evenly, so it gives you back 0. In the case of 5 modulo 2, 2 does not go into 5 evenly. 2 times 2 is 4, and 5 take 4 as 1, giving you back 1, the remainder. In the case of 7 modulo 5, it again does not go evenly. 7 modulo 5 gives you back 2, because 7 take 5 is 2. In the case of the floor operator, it gives you back the divisions, the amount of times one number goes into another. So in the first case of 10 floor 2, it will give you back 5, because 2 goes into 10 5 times. In the case of 5 floor 2, it will give you back 2, simply because 2 goes into 5 twice. And in the case of 7 floor 5, it will give you back 1, because 5 goes into 7 once. Another important thing to remember about arithmetic in Python is that it follows bod mass. This is simply brackets over division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. Simply put, you put brackets first, then multiplication and division, then addition and subtraction. So in the case of 5 plus 2 times 6, we'll do 2 times 6 first, giving you back 12, then add the 5, not 5 plus 2, which would be 7, then multiply 6. If we did, however, want to do 5 plus 2 first, we can simply put the 5 plus 2 inside the braces, then multiply it by 6, giving us the result of 42 rather than 17. In the example on the right here, we are doing 9 to the power of 1, which will give us 9, then dividing the result by 2, which will give us 4.5. And in the bottom here, we're doing 9 to the power of the result of 1 divided by 2, which is the square root of 9, which gives us 3. So now we can look at some examples in the console, making 5 plus 5, then pushing enter to return the result, being 10. 5 plus 2, push enter to return the result, being 7. 5 plus 2, multiply by 2, will return the result, being 9. Remembering in this example that multiplication is done before the plus. So if we did want to do 5 plus 2 first, so we get 7, then multiply the result of 2. We'd simply put it inside the braces, then multiply by 2. So we get the result of 14. The modulo function works like so. So we go 5 modulo 2 will give us 1, the remainder. 6 modulo 2 will give us 0. 7 modulo 2 will give us 1. 8 modulo 2 will give us 0. As you can see, every time it is equal to 0, it means the number goes into it evenly. This is a great way to check for whether a number is even or not using the number 2. The floor division works like so, 10 floor 2 will give us 5, 9 floor 2 will give us 4, 8 floor 2 will give us 4, and 7 floor 2 will give us 3. This is the amount of times the number on the right goes into the one on the left. So 2 goes into 10 5 times, 2 goes into 9 4 times, and 2 goes into 7 3 times. To use the power function, simply do 5 to the power, being two multiplication symbols, then the number you want to do the power of. So we get 25, being 5 to the power of 2. 2 to the power of 2 is done like so. 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8, and 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16.